everybody. Good morning. Hey, Colin. Good morning. How are you doing today? How are you doing, Colin? Good. How are you? How are you? Good. I'm good. good. Ah. <laughs> Hi. How are you? All right. We're going to get ready to start in a bit. We're just going to wait for our friends. Black Panther today. We're going to do Captain Marvel. And if we have time, we'll do another one, okay? And maybe a little baby Spider-Man. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Emily. Good morning, good to see you. Hey, Lilac. Hey, Hap. Good morning. Hi guys, hey, Roxy. Good morning, guys. All right, make sure you guys uh, take out a couple sheets of paper, maybe two or three sheets of paper. You also, black, uh, white paper blank paper. We also need uh, markers, uh, crayons, or something to color with. I have my Crayola crayons. I have my two sets. I have these sets of colors. Uh, you also need a pencil so you can draw with. I'm going to do a difficult version on the right and an easy version on the left, okay? So you can choose which one you want to do, the simpler version or the, e or the more difficult advanced version, okay? We'll see what that looks like. I'm going to take this one down. We were doing the scream earlier in our advanced class. I'm going to do this. Grab your paper and your pencils out. Okay, here we go. I'm going to divide my paper in half so then that way we can do two images. Now, you're going to just choose one, okay? If you, if you decide you want to do both images because they're going to look slightly different, you can go ahead and do that. Grab two sheets of paper side by side and you can follow along. But I'm going to do an easier version on the left and a harder version on the right, okay? So I'm just going to cut my paper in half right here, like this. Easy version here, more difficult version here, okay? You choose. So I'm going to do Black Panther first. So I'm going to show you what the Black Panther is going to look like. Black Panther is going to be the full Black Panther or the regular uh, a cute little version of Black Panther, okay? Let me pull up Black Panther. And then I'm also, I can take a vote also, because if you guys all want to do the cute version, then we'll just do the cute version. Okay, here we go. Let's see, is everybody here? I think there's one person missing right now. Okay, so these are my versions of Black Panther, okay? This is the more, Hi guys, good morning, welcome guys. Hey, Little Cheese. <laughs> I'm gonna rename you Little Bailey. I'm gonna rename your, to say Bailey, but I'm gonna say Little Cheese as well, okay? I'm gonna put Little Cheese on your name as well. Welcome Little Cheese, there we go. Rename, perfect. All right, there we go. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you the Black Panther that we're gonna do first. We're gonna do, um, Black Panther and then uh, Captain Marvel. So we have two easy versions of Black Panther. This is the really easy version of Black Panther, okay? And then we're gonna do, this one is the more uh, detailed version of Black Panther, okay? You guys good? <laughs> All right, so on the left, on the left-hand side, I'm gonna do an easy version of Black Panther, and on the right, it's gonna be the more detailed version, okay? So you choose. All right, here we go. I'm going to start on the left with easy and then I'm gonna work with the right. Okay, so for the easy version of Black Panther, you're gonna go ahead and just start with a circle, okay? Start with a big circle on your paper for Black Panther for the easy one. This one's like the cute one, okay? The cute little version of Black Panther, okay? Easy version, okay? And Black Panther is a cat, so you're gonna do two triangles, two triangles for his ears. Okay, go ahead and start with that. For the harder version of Black Panther, what you're going to do, you're going to kind of block your paper out. You're going to add his head up here. So you're going to kind of have it almost to the right center. You're going to do an arch that goes up like this. And then his two ears that go up like this, like, a tr like two triangles, like cat ears. And his head is going to go down like this. Okay, and it's going to go down like this, and then curve like this, and curve like that, okay? So he has a really thick, 
like jawline like that, okay? Go ahead and start that with his head, okay? For the, easy, for the easier version of Black Panther, you're gonna go ahead and draw his body, which is going to go like this. So you're gonna have an arm that goes out like this and an arm that goes out like this. Go ahead and just do that right now, okay? Okay. Then you're going to go ahead and do another line underneath it like that, just like that. Just do the two lines underneath it. Okay, for the easier version. Okay, for the harder version of Black Panther, the more detailed one anyways, we're gonna go ahead and start doing his shoulders. So his shoulders are gonna go up like this and you're gonna curve another shoulder like this all the way out to your paper, okay? The other shoulder is gonna go down like this, up like this, down like that, up like that, shoulder down this way, and then just all the way out to your paper. So do you see it's kind of like blocky, okay? So go ahead and start doing that. For the other, for the other uh, Black Panther here, you're gonna do his fingers. So his fingers are gonna go out like this. Look, it's like little U's or like almost like a, a V because his actual, his uh, claws are big like a cat. So you're gonna just do like a, like a V like this. So their claws are big, okay? And again, you can draw in pencil first, so then that way if you make a mistake, you can go ahead and erase. All right, for this version of Black Panther on this side on to the right, we're gonna go ahead and start doing his features. We'll do the rest of his body in a second. Um, for the top here, right here, we're gonna go ahead and do his eye. And if I'm going too fast, please let me know. Just unmute yourself and let me know. So we're gonna do a line that's kind of almost like diagonal. He's kind of in a mean stance right here. Do two eye lines there. And then kind of like what we did with Batman, it kind of curves in this way, like this, almost like a triangle, okay? Just like that and like that, okay? For Black Panther's eyes. And then he has a line in the center right here on the top, okay? We're gonna get at it, all his detail in a second. He has his neck here, but we're gonna just do a collar right now that goes like this, and a collar that goes right here, like this for his collar, okay? Go ahead and add his collar in there, and we're gonna add all the details. For the little Black Panther on this side right here, we're gonna go ahead and add his eyes now, okay? So his eyes, you're gonna do two lines that go like this. So just do two lines that go like that right now, okay? Do two lines that go like that for his eye. Just two lines like that. And then you're gonna curve for his two eyes that go like that, Maddie, and whoever else is doing the, this one, you're gonna curve like a happy face. You're gonna do just a happy face underneath, a happy face, like a U, okay? Just a happy face. Okay, for this one right here on this side, we're gonna start getting with detail. So his head, his head right here is gonna have a line that goes down like this, down like this, and it curves like this, okay? And he has another line that comes out of his ear. So you see how his ear right now is flat? We're gonna add another, like triangle inside his ear and we're going to do the same for the other side okay once you have a triangle in that ear you can go ahead and now do the same line that you did with the other one and have it go down like this okay all right for the other black panther now that you have his eyes you're going to do the line that just goes out like this underneath and like a nose, like that. Okay, go ahead and do that part right there. I'm gonna get in a little closer so you can see a little better. Hold on, let me move that up a little. Okay, is that better? Okay. And then you're gonna do the other side as well. So whatever matches there, we're gonna do that line that goes there too, okay? All right, for this other Black Panther right here, you're gonna go ahead and now add, he has a lot of lines in his face, okay? So you're gonna add two lines that go this way, kind of like, almost like it looks like his nose, but it isn't. 
and then you're gonna close that line like that, okay? Then you're gonna go up this line here, up this line there, so kind of like a staircase, and then it goes up that way. And this one goes up this way, like this. Those are like white lines. And then he has this almost like a cheekbone line that goes down this way and down like that. And then the other side as well, down straight across and down like that. Everything else is gonna be shadow. So once we start coloring him in, you'll see shadow. We can add one more line you see here in the center. We can add one more, just a straight line down like that, okay? And then we'll add uh, shadow and everything to it, okay? All right. Actually, we can add one more line here in his, in his face, which is gonna be a shadow line. So add that line. It doesn't look, it doesn't make sense right now, but it will once we start coloring that in. And then he has a shadow line here in his neck that we're gonna do just a V like this, okay? Just a V, because we're gonna color part of it black and part of it like a more of a gray color, okay? Now for the little black panther here on this side, you're gonna make a straight line that goes across like that, like his mouth line. You see for the little black panther right here, you're just gonna do a straight line that goes across like that, across his mouth. And then it's gonna be a line that goes like this for his mouth. That's it for that one. And then we'll do his body. For this one on this side, what we're gonna do now, this is his collar and this is his necklace, okay? So we can start adding the detail for this. So for his necklace, if you guys can see this right here, do you see the reference picture right there? They're basically triangles, right? With lines in between. So they're pretty big. The biggest triangle right here is here, okay? So because I drew with a marker, I can't erase this line. So I'm just gonna draw over it, but you guys can erase your lines because you guys are working with a pencil. Do you see I'm just doing triangles? I'm gonna do some triangles just going all across his, his uh, collar out but I'm gonna curve the triangle this way. Like I can move my paper or you guys can move your paper because you guys have flexibility. Mine's stuck to the wall. But do you see I'm just doing triangles all over his collar? And then I'm gonna do little lines in between in the center just to like give it a little bit of dimension. Remember to erase, you see how I drew my triangles over the collar that I previously made? Go ahead and erase those pencil lines in there. I can't because I drew with marker, but erase any pencil line there, okay? So start doing the collar. All right, for the little uh, Black Panther on the other side, you're gonna do the same. You're gonna do like a little round, a little round collar like that. And you're gonna also do little triangles so just a little triangle right here. Look, one triangle right here, one triangle right here, kind of like a collar. I think you could fit only three triangles. At least that's all I could fit. So you're just doing the little curve and you're doing a triangle, okay? So again, how do we draw a triangle? We draw a triangle like this, like straight line across like this, diagonal line this way, and then a diagonal line this way, okay? To do a triangle. All right, so look, straight line across, diagonal line this way, and diagonal line this way. And then you could do a few lines in the center. Okay, that's how you do a triangle. It's like a slice of pizza. All right, next part with Black Panther. Here we go. So once you have his collar here, we're going to start adding his body. So here he's very muscular. So we're going to start, we're going to do a line that goes this way. We're going to block his, his body out like this. So it's going to come out of the paper. And then his chest right here is gonna come out this way, and then come out this way, and like this, okay? So get that going. His chest in this area, it's gonna go curved like this, and then curved here, here, about there. Let me see, make sure. Yeah, that's good. Oh, Miss Elizabeth, can you slow down a little bit? Of course, yeah. I'm gonna move on to the little one right now, okay? Okay, so for the little Black Panther here, once his collar is done, you're gonna do his body. So look at his body right here. His body's gonna go round right here, look. Just like a round body right there. Just like that. And then his legs are super easy. Watch his legs for the little guy. Look at his legs. Let me see, hold on. Just waiting for my friend here. Okay, so his legs for the little Black Panther, are gonna look like this, look. You're just gonna curve it like that, just a curve. 
And then you're gonna do another curve on the other side for his other foot. And that's it. And that's Black Panther for that one. You do need to add maybe a little line that goes right here, like for his bodysuit or like a stripe. And that's it, that's Black Panther for this one. This one you can start coloring it in. And if you did this one, look, this is little Black Panther right there. So once you have him done, you can start coloring him in, okay? So he's all, you can start coloring him in gray. Okay, so I'm gonna continue with this one. You can give him an environment if you want. For Black Panther, you can add some grass. You can add a sun if you want for the background. You can add some clouds for Black Panther for the little, the little cute one. You can add clouds if you want to. You can add anything that you like for him, okay? And you can start coloring him in. So let's get back to, the, to this larger one here because this one's really intense. So we have its, its body, its core. Now we, he's kneeling, okay? So we're gonna create a bump here for his knee that goes up like this. And it is going to curve out like this. Okay, curve out. And it's gonna thin out here for his ankle. And then his foot is gonna come out bigger like this. Kind of like I think what we did with Batman. You see how it curves out this way? So he's kneeling here at this point, okay? So he's kneeling right there, okay? But then his other leg is gonna come out wide, and again, I'm gonna show you the stance. The stance, so this one's the one that we're doing, okay? So we have his big knee going there. That's, he's like getting ready to leap, okay? And then we have his other leg that's gonna come out this way. So we're gonna take this one out as much as we can from our paper. We're gonna bend the knee going this way, round this off, okay? We're gonna make the knee go down this way like this. So it's kind of almost like a big U, right? Kind of like a big U if you think about it. This is the bottom of his outfit right there. And then his leg goes out like this in the back. This is his foot now. We're gonna add his foot that goes like this. And it's a pretty big foot, okay? Just like that. Now once you have that layout there, and now I didn't have enough space for his hands, but let me see what you guys have for your paper right now because I could add another piece of paper. We are gonna draw Captain Marvel. Okay, cool. If you don't have, um, I didn't have enough space for the arm, but I'm gonna scoot my paper. I'm gonna take another sheet of paper and I'm gonna extend it. So then that way I can draw the arm, okay? So give me one second. Hold on one second. Sometimes I draw so big and I forget. Oops. Okay. Let's see this works. I think I have enough sticky. Hold on. Yeah, I do. Okay. So I'm going to extend his arm since uh, my paper got cut off. I'm going to extend it out here this way. So watch what I'm going to do. Because I need the rest of his arm, right? So I'm going to extend his arm this way like this. Can you guys see that okay? Yeah? Okay. So I'm going to extend his arm here and I'm going to draw his claw or his hand that goes out like this. So you're kind of just doing like a letter, like a letter C. Let me get some tape here so then that way you can see this a little better. Hold on one second. Does that look okay? Colin, does that look okay? Can you see that? Yeah? Okay, great. I'm just gonna add some tape. My tape is not working. Hold on one second. Here we go. Sometimes we run out of paper or run out of space in our paper and we just have to add another piece. Sometimes I end up having to do that because I draw my image too big and I forget. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay. Let me add this paper right here so it doesn't move. All right, good. We're rocking and rolling, guys. Now for his arms, for his hands here, you're gonna make sure you do his paws, okay? So you're doing his paws right there, just like that, okay? So right now, once we have Black Panther here, I'm gonna try to see if I can add his, this hand right here, you see how I drew the little baby uh, pa Black Panther on the left? I'm gonna extend his arm from the left-hand side over into the little baby panther, 
Only so I can, so you guys can draw both hands, okay? All right, so here on this side right here, it's gonna be his other claw that goes up this way. His arm is gonna go down like this. And then his claw is gonna come out this way like this. So I'm gonna have a claw that goes out like this, a finger that goes down here, and a finger that goes here. So I'm basically drawing that right there, okay? So that's his claw. And his talons, his talons are gonna come out like this, like that, okay? That looks better. Once we have him, we're gonna start adding all the detail in Black Panther right now, okay? So his black, the, for the Black Panther, there's a whole bunch of lines everywhere, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and start, we're starting with the shoulders and working our way down. So right here in the left-hand shoulder, we're gonna do a line that goes down like this, a line that goes across and up, okay? So you're gonna do that for his shoulder, okay? So once you do that one line, you also have to now do a double line, kind of like what we did, let's see. So do a double line like that, okay? Whatever you're doing to the left, you're gonna kind of mimic to the right. So we're gonna do the same thing here on this side. We're gonna do a line that goes like that and curves like this, okay? We're gonna do the same line there. I'm gonna take a moment and let me see how you guys are doing. How are you guys doing over there? Maddie, how are you doing with your Black Panther? Good, can I see, can you show me? Can you show me what you've done so far? You don't wanna share? <laughs> I wanna see it. Um, it's a surprise and I'm not done yet. No problem, you don't have to be done now, I know. We're not done yet. Okay, cool, Emily, good job. Good job, Colin. Great job, everybody. Okay. All right, so if you, how many of you guys have those lines right now on his shoulders? Okay, good. So this one's a little bit more difficult. So, you know, great job for hanging in. All right, so we're gonna curve this line. We're gonna curve a line going down like this, like this, and then curve a line like that, okay? So you're just gonna curve that going like this. Whoops. I'm gonna move my hand in a second so you can see, okay? Same thing here. Curve a line this way, up, like that, and then you're gonna curve this line like this, okay? After Black Panther, we're gonna do uh, Captain Marvel. So we're gonna do an easy version of Captain Marvel and a more difficult version of Captain Marvel as well. Uh, let's see. Where is Captain Marvel? Here it is. Okay. Once you have those lines for Black Panther, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna go ahead and, next up, we're gonna add the lines going down the rest of his arm, okay? So it's basically like a V, a V shape that goes down this one, a V, and then we're gonna do the outer V. So we're gonna just do two lines that represent a V there, and we do his bracelet. So his bracelet is kind of is a thick bracelet that just curves out like this, just like that, okay? Just goes like a big, uh, like a big watch, like a thick watch. So since we did a V on this side, we're gonna do a V on the other arm. So you just do a big V like this, you see? Big V, and then you just do the double line to make it thick and do the wristband on his wrist, which is basically his bracelet and that's good. You, we're gonna add some more lines in between here because right now it looks a little empty. Okay. For his wrist, his wrist, this V right here, he does have like uh, panther claws in these. So you could draw little claws inside these armbands here, okay? So you can draw little claws inside his armbands or little triangles. Okay, if you want to add that in. He does, like every superhero, every superhero has some type of belt. Like Batman has a utility belt uh, and Superman has uh, his belt as well. So with Black Panther, not with the, eh, since we blocked this out for his body, we also need to give him a belt. 
So his belt is gonna extend outside his waistline and it's gonna curve in almost kind of like a V or like a curvy and then it just curves like this, okay? So his belt will go like that. And then we can just add a few lines to his belt like that, okay? Doesn't have to be big, just can be at least a little thick on the side. He also has some ankle, anklets on the bottom for his boot that kind of curve up, kind of like a kind of like a peak of a mountain, like or an upside down V that looks like that. So whatever you do, that's like an upside down V, literally. And you do a couple stripes. So you're gonna do two, uh, four, four of those that look like this, okay? And for his other, his other foot, it's the same thing. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other foot. But go ahead and just do that for now, okay? He has anklets on the both feet. You can curve this one. This one doesn't have to be so pointy like this one. And you can just curve that in like that, okay? He's starting to look really good. And then coloring him in. Let's see. How are we doing here with this one? Good? Okay, great. That's looking great, guys. Good job. Okay. He has a lot of lines in the rest of his body, so we're going to get through his lines here. Um, we're going to start, we're going to start adding the more lines on his arms and then work into his body and his feet. So you see for his left arm right here. So you see how we did this line right here. That's a double line. We're going to do another line. That's going to come right here. It's going to curve. Okay. It's not going to be a straight line down. It's going to curve like that, kind of like a rainbow curve. And then we're going to do another curved line like that. Okay. So a curved line here and a curved line there. When you get down to his uh, part of his shoulder right here, he has another line that goes down. It curves this way. It curves down like this. And then it curves outwards, almost kind of like a peace sign. So you curve it this way like this, and then like this. Wow. And then he does the same thing on the other side like this, okay? Kind of like, almost like a peace sign, okay? All right. Now when you go to this shoulder, we're doing kind of the same thing, okay? So when you go to this shoulder, you're doing two lines that go down like that, and you curve it out. Exactly what we did to the other side. So it gives us some more character and some more dimension here. And his wrist or his, uh, like the fatter part of his arm right here, we're just going to do two lines going this way like this. Okay. And that's good. With his wrist, you can add a few little lines here, like this. These are really, just for some detail, you can add some lines there, just up and down, maybe two lines. Kind of looks like stripes, to be honest. And then we're gonna work on his chest. So his chest gets a little bit tricky. So let me know when you're ready and we're gonna move on to his chest. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to do his chest. Not yet, okay, no problem. Okay, Colin, you're ready? Oh, that's looking good, Bailey. Great job, Bailey. Oh, you did the other one too. Awesome, I love it. Great job, little cheese. Good job, Colin. Oh, I love it. So good. Okay, so with his chest here, you're gonna do like a V first. So look, you're gonna do like a big V going like this, okay? Like a big V on his chest. But then it's gonna curve out almost kind of like a bat wings. It curves out this way like this, look. It curves out like that. It kind of looks like the beginning of Wonder Woman's uh, chest plate also. But now that you did that line right there, you're gonna go ahead and also, you're gonna do a, a thicker line. So you're gonna go underneath it and trace it over. Okay, for a thicker line. And you're gonna do another V underneath this one. And I'm gonna show you how. So once you have this line that goes like this, you're gonna do another V that goes right here. It's gonna attach from this end right here, goes down here and attach back there, okay? 
but you can't just leave the V line by itself. Ooh, Maddie, great job, honey. Great job, yes. Good job, honey. I love it. Keep coloring, it looks so good. Um, how did I did it is I didn't want to color the head any color. I just wanted to get this here. And one part of the ear is dark purple and the other part of the ear is white. That's I mean, good. Yellow. I love it. I love it. You can color your background too. You can even give him a friend if you wanted to add a friend to him. No? Okay. <laughs> it's okay. All right, we're going to do Captain Marvel in a moment, okay? So hang tight. All right, guys. So once you do the V-line here, you're going to do a double line again because we want to have a little bit more texture, okay? And we're going to do another line just on the sides going diagonally this way like this, kind of like creating another V-shaped. But you don't really see his abs right now, so we have to also create that, okay? His abs are just gonna be a line that's gonna go straight down like this. So a line that goes straight down like this, a thicker line right here, just like that. His legs, same thing, it's V's that we're doing. So with his legs, you're gonna do a V that goes like this, look, a V that comes out like this. And then another V that comes out like this, you see? The same thing that we did to the chest area, you're gonna do a V, but you're gonna do the thicker Vs, like this. Thicker V, like that. Same thing with his other leg. We're gonna do one V on this one. This one's gonna just do a one V like this. Kinda looks like Wonder Woman's boot. Like that. He has another line that goes down like this. This one's not a V, it's just a line that goes this way. And then he has a line that goes like this, okay? It looks like this area is empty, so he has another line that goes straight across and up. Again, it's like a V. You guys notice all these lines are kind of like Vs everywhere. With his knee, you can do, if you want, you can also add another V here to give him dimension a little bit just more, or you can just keep it blank like that. For him, it doesn't have that extra V, but I'm gonna add it because it looks a little too bare. His feet are pretty simple. His feet are just lines. So the lines that you already drew, all you're gonna do is just gonna go attach another line there and you're just gonna go to the bottom and you're just gonna do another line that curves like that. Same thing for this one. You're just gonna curve a line that goes here and this one, you're just gonna add a line in the center, kind of like for a bit. question. Yeah, Maddie. How much more time I'm going to move in Captain Marvel? We're gonna probably, I think we have like two more minutes and we're gonna move on to Captain Marvel. Okay. Is that a character you like, Maddie? Uh-huh. Awesome. Great. We'll get your other piece of paper ready because I'm going to start doing Captain Marvel in a second. How are you guys doing with uh, Black Panther, guys? Are you guys good? Yes? Okay. So, Black, yeah. so for Black Panther here, now I'm going to go ahead and show you. Uh, that's basically Black Panther. So you can add... I'm gonna show you like the areas that are black real quick. So let me show you the image again. Okay, so this is Black Panther right there. Do you see that? Okay, so the areas that are black, I'm gonna, you see this guideline? Everything else is gonna be like a gray, but I'm gonna color these areas. I'm gonna color these areas black. So this is gonna be like shadow lines shadow lines right here, okay? You see all those are gonna be black. I'm gonna do a little bit of black in his ear here. I'm gonna do some black here on his ear right here. And then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add like little areas of black everywhere else. So I'm gonna add some black here. 
Maddie, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the easy version of, of uh, Captain Marvel in a second, okay? I'm going to add some block here. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm just adding a little bit of block here, and the rest will be gray. So this is just shadow. So right here, I'm going to add some block going this way like this. Just like that. I'm gonna add some black going down. Black going down this way like this. I'm gonna add some black here. I'm gonna add some black right here. I'm gonna add a little black here to his shoe right here. Add some black to his shoe right here, a little bit here in the center. I'm gonna add some black right here, black right here, some black right here. And it doesn't need to be perfect, guys. So you see how I'm just adding my blocks in like different areas? And I'm adding my black right here a little bit. I'm adding some black right here a little bit. I'm adding some black right here to the sides of it, a little bit right here, a little bit right here. I'm gonna add some black here to the shoulder. I'm just, do you see what I'm doing? I'm just adding a little bit of black for just like some outlines and some texture, just so it makes it pop a little bit more, just like that, just on the outer. And I'll keep this one up, so then that way you can still guide yourself, okay? And just add some block for his claws here on his, and then I, I'm going to add a little bit of block here just to make that a little thicker. His claws, you can also add block just in the, like, you can create lines that go down like this, okay? Just like that. Just add a little bit of block here. And then everything else will be gray. So we're just adding a few little lines there. And then his eyes are gonna be a little bit thicker right there. It's a little darker. And then everything else here in Black Panther is gray. So you just grab your gray crayon and you go ahead and start drawing it, uh, coloring it in, or you can color in. I think this is, yeah, this is gray marker. So you see what I'm doing? Just start coloring that all in with gray. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Now the little lines, the lines here in between, you can keep those white. The lines that looks like these, you can keep those white. Or you can color those in a little lighter, a little, uh, a lighter color, but it looks white, okay? Just leave those white in there and just continue coloring this in, okay? All right, so Captain Marvel, here we go, Maddie. Ready? Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel. Okay, Maddie, here we go. So you can, uh, you can, uh, Continue coloring Black Panther in right now, or you can stop, okay? Uh, and you can uh, move on to the next character. We're gonna do an easy Captain Marvel, and then uh, a more difficult Captain Marvel. So you decide. I am going to show you what it's gonna look like. And basic shapes, okay? So with Captain Marvel, we have, I'm gonna give you guys the choice. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So with Captain Marvel, we have the easy version and the harder version. So this is Captain Marvel, the easier version, okay? And then we have the harder version, which is this one. How many of you guys wanna do the harder version? Raise your hand. One person? <laughs> How many of you guys wanna do the easy version? Raise your hand, easy version, okay. All right, because we also have this version. Okay, you wanna do this one? Okay, I'm gonna do the easy version and I'm gonna do the harder version. You guys choose which one you wanna do. 
We have we also have an easy version of Spider Man <laughs> with his little web. Okay, we're gonna do um, or this version of Spider Man too. Okay, do any of you guys want to do Spider Man today? Okay. We're going to do uh, Captain Marvel right now. We're going to do the easy version first or side by side. Okay. All right. Are you guys good with Black Panther? Yes. I'm going to tear this away and move on. I can bring this back up to show you guys by the end of class again. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's, let's do it. Let's move on. I'm going to cut my paper in half. Make sure you have a full sheet of paper. I'm going to cut this in half. You don't need to cut yours in half. Okay, here we go. Let me move my desk a little bit just so I can get in here. All right, Captain Marvel. So with Captain Marvel, we're gonna go ahead and start her face, her face. She has kind of like a mohawk for hair, right? So we're gonna do a circle for her head, but we're gonna leave an opening. So watch what I'm gonna do first, okay? So watch me first. We're gonna do a circle for her head but we're gonna leave an opening at the top. We're gonna create a let, like a V at the top for her hair, okay? It looks like an upside down Pac-Man, if you guys have ever done Pac-Man. So go ahead and do a circle with a V, okay? Go ahead and do that first, okay? Let me know when you guys have, your, have that done and we'll move forward. Let me see. Actually, I think I want to do this one. Colin, do you want to do this, Captain Marvel? Oh, did Colin leave? Okay. This one or the other one? The one with the fire? Um, that one. That one? Okay, we'll do this one. Okay. If you want to do the, uh, this one, I'm going to do this Captain Marvel right here. I'm going to create a letter, uh, a U-shaped face for her face like this. And then I'm going to have her hair go down like this. So go ahead and start her face like this. And we're going to do her neck. Okay. So that's her Captain Marvel for the other one. Okay. Next. For our other Captain Marvel, I like the one with the mask too. She's cute. Okay. So now that we have the circle for the face, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, cut her face in half. So we're going to do a V shaped like this. Okay, because that's part of her mask, okay? So we have to do a V-shape for her face, for her mask. And then we have to draw her nose and her eyes. Okay. All right. The top of her hair, let's fill in her hair right now. We're just going to go up like this and down, like that. Okay, she kind of has like a little mohawk, right? Kind of looks like a flame up on her hair like that, right? Okay. So go ahead and do it. It's just like a curve up and a curve down. You're going to add a few lines in her hair because, you know, we want her hair to show. So you're just going to add a few lines there for her hair. Okay. A few lines for her hair. And then for her eyes here, the same thing that we did before, you're going to add a little line that goes straight like this and a little line that goes straight. And then it's going to be like a, like a happy face underneath for her eyes. So two straight lines like that, or diagonal lines, and then like a happy face or like a U. It goes down like this, like a U, okay? She has what looks like a little triangular nose in the center. So you see where the little peak is right there? You have a triangular nose that goes like this, okay? Like a triangle and a line in the center, almost like a beak, okay? Now for the other one here on this side, now, now that you've blocked out her, her neck and her, hair and her uh, face, we're gonna go ahead and do her collar. So her collar goes sideways like this and a little V right there, just like this. And we're gonna create her shoulders that go out like this. And we're gonna create her shoulder that goes out this way like this and block her body. Her arm is gonna be at her like waist like this. I want to create like that, her arm. We're going to give her her chest that you're going to curve like this and curve this one right here like this. It's just like that, her chest line and her waist that goes down like this. 
her, her glove is going to come out like this. So go ahead and do that. I'm going to make her a little thicker. Go ahead and continue with that one. All right, with the one on the left, what you're going to do, she, she kind of looks like an angry bird there, but <laughs> she's not. Okay, so we're going to curve a little line like that and a little line like this. It does look like an angry bird. She looks like an angry bird. <laughs> and her chin right here, you're going to create a little line that goes across. And like, kind of like what we did with Black Panther, we're creating a second line that goes like this and just curves like that for her helmet. Okay, she kind of looks like an angry bird. <laughs> Do you guys know what angry birds are? <laughs> okay. But we need to also add her lips, right? I know what an angry bird is. It looks like an angry bird. I know. So we're going to add her lips right there like this. I like that. So it's just like a curve. And then we're going to add the lines for her helmet. She has a line here that goes for her helmet down. A line here that goes for her helmet here. And then you see where we did the V there? We're going to create the V here as well. So we're going to create the other line. And she has ears. We still need to add more hair to her. And we have the two ears that go like this and an ear that goes like this. Okay? So, and then go ahead and do that step and we're going to move on. I'm going to move on to this one right now and then I'll come back. Okay. So with this, with the part of her body right now, I'm going to start doing her hair. Let's start doing her hair. So I'm just going to, you see on the top right here, I'm just going to flow her hair like this. It's like a wave curve. And then I'm going to do another wave and I'm going to curl it back like this. And just like that, it's going to be like really wavy in the wind. I'm going to do the same thing on this side right here. And I'm going to turn it like that. So it's kind of waving in the wind for her hair. Okay. And I'm just going to add some lines in her hair like this and just add the lines in between for her hair, just like this. Just add some more lines as flowy as you want her hair to look like. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Okay. For Captain Marvel on this side right here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit more hair here. Kind of, I'm going to flow it like this one too. And I'm just going to add another little piece of hair right there. Okay, so I'm just gonna curve that in, all right? So we're gonna do the other part of her hair for Captain Marvel, okay? So just curve her hair down like this, add some more hair, and curve here, just like that, okay? All right, go ahead. How are we doing, guys? Hold on, my light just went out, I'm just, uh, Adding a new light real quick. All right. All right, here we go. Next. So make sure you have her hair. We're gonna start doing her body right now. Let me just add my light so we can see again. There we go. Okay, so for Captain Marvel, kind of like what we did with the other one. So make sure you, you can do a few little hairlines right there for her as well in her hair for texture. You're going to go ahead and do her body. It's going to come out like this. So just curve it down. And you're going to do like this, OK? Just curve it like this. Just like that, OK? Now for the other one, what you're going to do, once you have her hair there, you're going to go ahead and do her arm coming down like this. And then we're going to start with her glove. Like this. Just like this. Okay. Her other glove is at her hip. We're going to do her hips a little bigger. We're going to curve out. Curve her hips out and her thighs. Okay. And we do a little V right here to separate her legs right there. And then we do the glove that comes down here. Okay. Just like that. Okay. For the other, for the other Captain Marvel right here on this side, we're going to start doing her body. So her body is going to come down like this. And we're going to do her belt that, that separates her hips right here. 
And then we're gonna do her legs that go down here. We're gonna do her, her arms right here. Her, okay, just like that. So go ahead and at least do that part right there. We only have 10 more minutes. Oh, I know. Don't worry, we'll get done. Okay. And then we do the boots, just like this, and do the boots. Okay. What happened? This reminds me of a um of a Nintendo store that I went to to buy uh -huh. at at um game, uh -huh. and um there was like a bunch of figures, and this figure was actually there. There was a Captain. Oh, awesome, that's great. And Staring Bailey. Mm -hmm. awesome. Okay, for the back of Captain Marvel on this one, you're gonna create like a big circle behind her. So just behind her body. So you can go ahead and create that big circle behind her body, okay? And then we're gonna start work, working on her, we're gonna work on her outfit and her, on her face and everything. For the other one, we're gonna move on to this one real quick. So for this one, we need our boots. So the boot lines is gonna go here. We're just gonna need a curved line right there. Her belt, she has two lines that go like this for her belt. And then we're gonna start adding the, the features on her outfit. So we need to curve her arm like this, curve it like this. And then she has kind of like a star here on the, on the center. Okay, it has almost like a triangle top like that. Then it comes out like this. It curves in a little triangle, a very tippy triangle right there. And like that. It looks like a starburst, right? Let's see. How are you guys doing over here? I'm going to go over this again. So look. So for the starburst right here, watch. For the starburst, I'm going to draw it on this paper so it's closer for you. So for the starburst, you're going to just do two lines that go like this. Okay? A little line that goes like this and a line that goes out like this. So go ahead and follow along. That looks great. Bailey, great job. Okay, or you could just do a regular star. Okay, however you can do it. It's a little regular star, okay? All right, next. You're gonna do lines that go out here from her chest, like this. Looks kind of rainbow-esque, and a line that goes up and down right there. She has a line that goes out like this, Okay, so go ahead and do those lines right now. And then we'll get to the rest of her detail. I'm gonna move on to this one real quick. Okay, so here, same thing. We're gonna do the chest plate here. We're gonna do the lines that look like this, like a starburst. Whoops. Let me make sure the starburst looks good. Little starburst there, starburst here, okay? We're gonna do a little chest line there. She has a line that goes here. For this one, she doesn't have that type of belt. She's going to have more of a type of a wrap. So I'm going to create a wrap that goes up this way, and I'm going to create it going up this way like this. So it's going to go down like that, and it's going to curve down right here and curve out like this. You can give her the regular belt here if you want to. I can add it on here, but I'm going to add that wrap as well. Okay? With her here, she also has these the rays that go this way, and then rays that go down here on her chest. We're gonna do the same thing on the other one as well, okay? Like that, and then we're gonna do just some guidelines here, and this one with her neckline right there like that. She's almost done. All we need is going to add uh, her face and details. For the other one here on this side, guys, she also has a line that goes, this one's a little easier, so you're gonna put a line that goes this way and a line that goes this way, okay? And here for her, for her arms, we're gonna do a line across this way and a line across this way, but we're gonna add her fingers. We're gonna add her fingers, okay? So watch how we're gonna do that. We're gonna change this up. Do you see how there's no fingers on this one right now? But I'm gonna add lines inside, look. So I'm gonna add a line here that creates a finger. And I'm going to add a line there that creates a finger, okay? And you can add her thumb going out on the outside, so you're drawing like a letter C. I'm going to draw a backwards letter C here so you can see her finger there, 
okay? And that's her fingers. Now for her pants, I'm gonna create a little line that goes this way a little bit better. And then her pant lines, you're just gonna do a line that goes straight down, across and down. Same thing for the other side, down, across and down. Kind of like a little staircase. And then on the top of her outfit right here, she also has a line that goes up, like diagonally and down. Same thing here, okay? And that's, that's that with this Captain Marvel. Um, you can go ahead and, oh, actually we're gonna add another little line right here. And a line here and a line here. You don't have to if you don't want to, but then you're gonna color her in. So her, color, her coloring for her outfit, let's see, it's red here. We have a red mask, it looks like. She has red gloves, I'm gonna color her mask in. And we're gonna move on to this one. Those of you guys who are doing this one, we're gonna move on to her face here and this one. But you can start coloring her in. Now, what is Captain Marvel's environment? Where does she live or where is she from? Can anybody tell me? Who can tell me? I'm not a really Captain Marvel fan. I've never seen the movie, to be honest. How many of you guys have seen the movie before? Can somebody share? Maddie, do you wanna share? And then Colin, can you share? Or anybody can share? Can you share? Go, ha ha Roxy, go ahead, share. Go ahead and unmute yourself here, go. No, I don't, she lives on a different planet and then comes to like, Earth to help like the other Avengers. I forgot what they were doing, but uh, stop. Uh, and she came to help, and then at the end of the movie, she went back to her planet to train better. I uh, guess. Do you know what planet she's from by chance? Do you remember? I don't remember. I saw it like two years ago. Oh, got it. Anybody else? Yes, Maddie, go ahead, honey. You can unmute yourself. Go ahead. Um, I watched the movie before, also, one day it was my first time I watched it before. I watched it at the movies, but it was not the movie, but it was a movie. I couldn't watch all of it. Oh, okay. Did you like it? Mm -hmm. Like her as a superhero? Yeah? Uh-huh. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. All right. We're gonna finish Captain Marvel here on this side right now. We're gonna add more color to this one. So I think- Got I'm another one. Got another one. Oh, and also, uh -huh, I saw, <laughs> um, it's not just a superhero. It made into a superhero. Oh, okay. Who did you make into a superhero? Okay. All right, guys. So you're gonna you're gonna add color to Captain Marvel, so you can go ahead and start coloring her in. I'm gonna finish up the other Captain Marvel, so we can have that one done. So go ahead and start just adding the blues. This is not completed yet, but it will be in a moment. I'm gonna move on to her, so we can finish her face. All right. I'm gonna get a thinner thinner marker because her face. I'm gonna try to get in a little closer, so you can really see her. Hold on one second. Okay. There we go. All right, let's get her face in. All right, so once you have that, her face is gonna be kinda, kinda on the meaner side because she's tough, she's a tough superhero. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna block her, you see here in the half of her face right here? I'm gonna start with her, actually I can add her ears. I realize I forgot her ears right here on the side. I'm gonna add some ears. So it helps you with the nose guideline, okay? All right, so with the nose here on this side, I'm gonna start with, let's see, here are her ears, the top of her ears, I need her eyebrows. So her eyebrows are gonna go up like this. Hold on, sorry, my light's falling down again. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Colin, are you leaving? Do you wanna yeah. do that? I just like kind of just drew boots and um, just kind of drew eyes. Okay, sounds good. I can kind of see um, your picture. Okay, awesome. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Colin. Bye, thank you. Friday. All right, so we're going to draw her face. We're doing her lips. 
and we're doing her eyes. So I'm gonna step away here so you can you can do you can see her face and see her eyebrows, and it's gonna be a little on the meaner side, a little bit right there. I'm gonna give her some more dimension with her eyes so she looks a little bit meaner instead of looking so happy. I'm gonna change her eyebrow a little bit just to make it look okay. I'm gonna give her some lashes. And I'm gonna make her look a little bit tougher by giving her a thicker eyeliner. I am gonna give her some eyelashes up like this. Make sure you do the little pupil in the eye right there. I'm gonna kind of extend her eyebrow out a little bit. And that's Captain Marvel so far. Okay, same thing with her here. I'm gonna start adding some color here for her outfit. Yellows, yellows, yellows and yellows. And then she has the yellow right here. I'm gonna add some reds. Her gloves are red. Red glove. I'm gonna do this, this wrap that she had. I'm gonna do it red. Red here, red here. What other part of her outfit is red? Oh, her top part right here. This part is red right here. She has blonde hair, so I'm gonna add some blonde. How are you doing? All right, I'm just gonna add some blonde here to her hair. Um, are we gonna do um, her legs? Oh yeah, we can do her legs. We can. If you wanted to keep it like that, you can keep it like that. If not, I'm gonna, I can add her legs. Hold on one second. Okay. The image that we had originally doesn't have her legs, but I can add, totally add her legs. So let me add her legs here. If you didn't want to add the legs, you didn't have to, but look. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna curve her, her legs out like this. And then you're gonna do her boot, okay? And we're almost there. And we're gonna curve her foot out like this. Thank you for teaching me how to make the easy part a Wonder Woman. You're welcome. Did you have fun doing Captain Marvel? Uh huh. Yeah. How about your Black Panther? Uh huh. Yeah. Awesome. Did you finish Captain Marvel? Can I see it? Do you want to share? Oh, I'm gonna finish it tomorrow. Okay, cool. Ooh, that looks good. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How about Bailey? Bailey and Hap and uh, Lilac, Lilac. And then I'll get my picture. This is my picture. I have no idea what color her pants are. <laughs> I'm gonna color that in right now. So I'm gonna cut in the other one. Hold on one second. All right, so the pants, oh, I think I messed up with the top. The top is supposed to be red and I did it blue. <laughs> I messed up. So this top is supposed to be red on the top. I messed up. I guess it's gonna be purple now. <laughs> That's what I did. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Who was I? I was actually looking at yours. Here, and this is blue. So this is blue right here. All of this is blue. Okay. I was like, hmm. Yeah. I think they should match the shoe. <laughs> this is blue. This is blue. This is blue. As well, the top should have been red, but it's okay. I messed up. I wasn't paying attention. Wait, is she peach? Uh, she has, this one is, but you can color her in any color. You see? Okay. I'm just going to color her peach because I have peach. And then I need to do I, like I do have brown, but it's not like skin brown. So I'm gonna use like I'm gonna use this peach. Okay, and then I'm gonna I don't have like a peachy color, so I'm just gonna do maybe like a little bit of brown here instead. A little bit of brown. I think I colored the thumb red. I'm just gonna color her in brown. Okay, I'm gonna just my crayon because it's a little better. Let me, let me see her eye real quick. Her eyes are white and then her hair is yellow. So I'm gonna color her hair yellow. And again, you can add a background to her if you want. 
whatever else that comes to you with her. Right, like, is cool because she's like floating. Yes. In whiteness. Uh huh. Okay, so I'm gonna add. I'm gonna start coloring in the rest of this one. Blue. Those black panther look like kind of easy. Where are you, black panther? Okay, I'm gonna start coloring her in her body. I'm looking at my black panther. Body. Color her in. She's kind of like Wonder Woman colors as well. Um, Miss Elizabeth. Yeah, go ahead. I have to go. No problem. If you guys have to go, you guys go. Oh, yeah, it's over time. But I'm going to continue coloring this if you want to stay logged in. If not, I'll see you guys on Friday, okay? Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Emily. Wait, when is the Swiss the cheese necklace coming? I'm, email, I'm sending it to you today, so you'll have it within the next two days, okay? So you'll have it then, Bailey. Okay, so I'm going to continue just coloring this, and then we'll log off once we're done. Okay, if you want to stay logged in, I know we've gone over a little bit of time, but it's okay. You can go ahead and color her in, finish her up. Her boots are red, kind of like Wonder Woman's boots, but without the line in the center. I'm going to just color this in, just like that. I'm going to add some red boots. How are you doing, Roxy? How you doing, Hap? You guys doing okay? Yeah? Good. Can I see what you guys have done so far? Ooh, I love it. Great job. Awesome. Great job, everybody. Great job, guys. Okay. And then with her, you can, again, you can give Captain Marvel an environment. You can do a background, a, a circle in the back like I did with the other one. Because if she has her own planet, it's like she's going to her other planet if you want to add that in. If you want to, you don't have to. Let me check anything else that Captain Marvel. Yeah, you could do that. Okay, so that's two versions of Captain Marvel. What do you guys want to see for the next class, guys? Which one? How? Oh, I actually would like um, I would like actually the Green Croc. It's a, actually a super villain. The Green what? What is it called? The Green Croc. The Green Croc. Okay, I will have that. We'll do. We'll draw that one. We'll draw that one on Friday. Green Croc. Greater man. <laughs> okay, awesome. And then uh, Roxy, what is there something that you want to draw? Spider Man. Oh, yeah. actually, actually, okay. oh, wait. Do you want the cute version of Spider Man, or do you want like the? <laughs> Or Mr. Penguin. I, either one. Actually, Mr. Penguin. He's very hard to draw. Mr. Penguin. He's so I have, I have these two versions of Spider-Man. This little one, of, or do you want this one of Spider-Man? Uh, that one. That one? Okay, sounds good. So we'll draw that one next class, honey, and we'll do the green croc as well, and then we'll do a female superhero. Mr. Penguin. He's like a penguin. Yeah, Mr. Penguin, actually. No green clock, actually. Can we do Mr. Penguin? Yes, we can do Mr. Penguin. Thank you. He's a so we'll do that the next class. All right. All right, guys. We'll keep on creating, keep on drawing. We're going to log off, and I'll see you guys on Friday, okay? Okay. Bye. 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 Have a great one.